Hi guys, it's Ben here looking ahead to Stoke versus Liverpool in the Premier League on Wednesday as the fixture schedule really begins to hot up now. It's getting really, really busy for the Reds. Games pretty much every few days, two or three games a week now. Uh, this is off the back of the one or draw of Chelsea at the weekend. And if you've not seen my day trip video from that game, some of you I know might have had trouble with it because of uh, basically a copyright issue. I had the Vine Aldum song uh, from Pop World uh, as a bit of footage in there. Copyright claim means that you can't watch it on mobile for various reasons. You have to watch it on desktop version. So you can watch it on desktop on your mobile or watch it on the, just your, on your laptop. So go and do that if you haven't already. But let's get into this one. Stoke versus Liverpool, so I mean it's a, the old cliche, the midweek game away in Stoke in the winter, it's never pleasant, um, especially when we've been playing loads and loads of games as of late, it's obviously not going to be an easy one, we're going to have to rest some players I think as well, we saw Mane and Firmino have a rest of the weekend, I think I think we might see Salah rested this time, I know that there's talk that Salah will get a rest in the coming weeks, whether it's in this game, I'm not sure whether it comes against Brighton or perhaps Spartak Moscow, I, I really don't know, uh, we've also got injuries to Lovren and Chan just coming back in, the Lana just coming back in from a long injury, so it's not an easy team to pick, uh, but I'm sure Stoke are having the same issue. Obviously, they're not in as many competitions as us, but you know they're, they're getting to the point now where they're you know fighting for their lives. Do they want to prioritise this one, or do they want to prioritise games against teams that maybe they feel that they can beat? Obviously, they lost to Crystal Palace at the weekend, so it really is looking bleak for Mark Hughes' men. I think his job... You know, it might even be sort of in, in jeopardy. Uh, losing at Stokes is, uh, sorry, losing at Palace is, you know, is about as low as it gets at the moment. But they have got Shakiri, who's playing really well. They've got Chief Moting, who I know is handy and has scored a few goals this season. So they're still going to pose a threat, particularly Shakiri, a player who I think may get a bigger move at some point. I think the last four games he's sort of been scoring, creating plenty of goals for them. So, you know, it's by no means an easy one. No complacency can be afforded here. And if you look at our, our sort of predicted lineup, which I'll go through now, um, you know, it's going to be sort of makeshift or not makeshift, but not your strongest 11 necessarily. Um, many of you will play in goal, I'm sure. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Trent as Under Arnold played at right back. I just, just have purely for rotations sake, I, I suppose. I mean, you've got to keep players fresh at the moment. Uh, with um, Lovren's injury, I guess Matip and Clavin pick themselves at the back. And then this, do you play Moreno or Robertson? Uh, I mean, Robertson barely gets a kick at the moment. I think Moreno will probably keep his place for this one. I wouldn't be surprised if Robertson played on Saturday, though. Uh, into the midfield, obviously Chan's back. Van Aldum didn't play at the weekend. Lallana is is back. Um, Henderson's getting a lot of criticism at the moment. I know a lot of you want me to sort of give my feeling on that. Um, I don't feel anywhere near as strongly about him being bad as, as a lot of you do. I, I, I do like him as a player. I think he's been better than people give him credit for this season. Doesn't mean I think he's a fantastic Liverpool captain and, and one that, you know, deserves to be a Liverpool captain, but I think he's had a bit too much stick this season. I think he will play here uh, with Wijnaldum and I don't think Chan will start. I think it will be Henderson, Wijnaldum and Coutinho. Then the front three, as I, as I say, I think Salah might get a rest. I think we'll see Firmino and Mane come back. And I won't be surprised if Oxley Chamberlain kept his place for this one, or even Daniel Sturridge. Um, I'd probably go with Oxley Chamberlain just to give us a bit more coming back. Um, but like I say, I mean, I want Salah to play, of course. I want him to play every every day. Uh, you know, he, he would who would who would get bored of watching him score goals for fun every single week? But you have to rest him at some point, and I think that might be Wednesday night. I hope, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think the, the rest is coming. We should be strong enough to see them off. Um, it's a game in which we played a very weak inside last season. Starts for Woodburn and Trent. You know, as, as much as they're great players, especially Trent now, he's, he's had a lot more um, experience in the first team. They were really, really rookies at this point. Um, we, 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 on paper, our team looked ridiculously poor that day. And then I think the, the cavalry came on. Coutinho and Firmino uh, came on just after the after the restart, and I mean, we turned it around and won the game. That was a big catalyst for us getting top four in the end. So it's going to be another tough one here. Especially if we have any any sort of a weakened side, if Salah's not playing, you know, you got to look elsewhere for the goals. Obviously, Firmino's not scored a ton this season, but he's kind of ticking over. Mane yet to really get going, even if he has played well, he's not scored the goals that he was last term. Salah's been the one really, you know, hogging all the all the limelight in that regard. So people are going to have to start chipping in elsewhere throughout this Christmas period. You need your players throughout these horrible, horrible months in terms of schedule to step up. You need leaders in that team to step up, score the important goals put in the important performances. Um, whether we've got enough leaders, enough winners on our side, I don't necessarily think we have enough in order to challenge, certainly not for the title, but you know, if we're going to challenge for a top four and probably a stronger league, as far as the top six are concerned, than last year, United stronger, you know, Arsenal probably a bit stronger, Chelsea still there, Spurs still there and probably stronger. Never going to be easy, but Predictions wise, I mean we're favourites. I mean Stoke is sort of five to one to win the game. We're we're odds on, sort of eight to fifteen. 
and I think that is about right. I think we're unlucky to, to uh, surrender the two points against Chelsea at the weekend. Williams scores a lucky goal. I apologise <laughs> after the game on Instagram and um, sort of on Redmen TV. I was very angry at the fact that we, we, we well, I said we bottled it and I said, you know, we're not strong enough to see how these wins. Having come back home and sort of watched it again, Chelsea did actually play quite well. It was a lucky goal. I mean, could Mignolet have done something about it? Maybe. I'm not a goalkeeping expert. Um, but maybe I was a bit too harsh on us. I think probably the fact that we bottled it in Seville uh, led, led to my sort of negative reaction to that one. But let's just let's just come to Stoke and, 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 and get the win. I mean, it's a very simple request, but we're, too, we're, we're way too good for them. I'm going to be there in Stoke. I'm going to do a day trip. Hopefully this one won't get any copyright issues. I don't plan to go out afterwards, so there shouldn't be any music, uh, you know, copyright issues there. But... I'm, I'm still in a decent place. I'm, uh, two frustrating results, especially Seville, obviously, because uh, that kind of ruins the whole of the next few weeks. We're not allowed to rest anyone against Spartak like Moscow, or certainly not rest the whole team like we probably would have done had we just not conceded that set piece. So the opportunity to rest players isn't there. We're going to have to keep doing it. Stoke, Brighton, Everton, you know, Bournemouth, wherever there's going to be rests for, for players, unfortunately, which means it's not going to be full strength and you know there might be consequences of that. But I'm still predicting us to come out of Stoke with a... Or should I go with a 3-1 win? Um, I want to see Mane and Firmino back on the score sheet and, uh, and maybe let's go for Mane 2 for me no 1. But um, I don't fear Stoke like I used to. I mean, it used to be a horrible place to go. I mean, since, since the 6-1 demolition that they handed us um, a few seasons ago, our, our record's been OK against them. I think we won there in the, in the, in the League Cup. We won there in the League twice since then, I believe. So... Uh, Let's go and do it. Sometimes some of you guys ask where I get my t-shirts from. I wear various different Liverpool t-shirts, whether it be football shirts or retro stuff or whatever, or just general casual wear. This is actually a Love Follow Conquer t-shirt. Um, it's got all the years of all the European Cups we've won. Love Follow Conquer, it's what we do. The five times sign, lovely little t-shirt. If you want to go and get one of these or uh, check out their store, I'll put a link in the description for you. Go and check it out. Otherwise, if you're new, please do subscribe. And of course, follow my other socials too, as Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I'll see you next time. Up the Reds.